Now, before we get started today, I would do want to say never order wings from Buffalo Wild Wings on Uber Eats because... What's going on, guys? We're back here with another wonderful fitness vlog. Now, before we get started today, I would do want to say never order wings from Buffalo Wild Wings on Uber Eats because nine times out of 10, they will get your order incorrect. I got boneless wings dry seasoning, salt and vinegar. They gave me bone wings. This is probably the third time they've gotten something wrong. Last time they gave me some kind of burger with some gross ass mustard on it. And then the order before that, I think it was, oh, what they, I think it was boneless, boneless wings that they were supposed to give me and they gave me bone wings. So if you live in the Northern Virginia area, don't buy Buffalo Wild Wings Uber Eats by TGI Fridays, because they actually give you what the fuck you order. Anyways, today we have, well, leg day. It is quads day. And also I've been messing around with some of my camera settings. Uh, I've noticed some of the shots are kind of, oh, it cannot see me, it's a little dark. Are a little overexposed. So kind of like this light over here, it's a little bit bright. So I've kind of toned down a lot of my camera settings. So if it looks kind of dark some, oh, it just lost my face. If it looks kind of dark sometimes, that's the reason why. I'm trying to figure out the optimal settings to go record at the gym so that it looks relatively clean, nice, and fancy in 4K. So, as you know, we have back squat today. I'm hoping, I honestly don't know what I'm gonna go for today. I'm hoping maybe for maybe 255, 265, four or five sets of five. I'm gonna predict. Two, six, around 255 or 265 is gonna be my range for squat. And then everything, let's see, is there anything I wanna do differently today? We're gonna do Bulgarian split squat, leg extensions, and V squat, hack squat. Those are the three I like to do. And I wanna add in one more. I might switch it up though. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do. Uh, <laughs> I might do, actually I might do what I did last time, that squat machine, the close stance squat machine, so that I can really accentuate my outer quads, because I'm lacking there. Let's be honest, my outer quad, I don't even have outer quads. It's pretty bad. And then after that, obviously the same calf superset, abs, and then I'm pretty sure, I think that's about it for leg day, quad day. Quad day is pretty simple. It's kind of like back day. Uh, we got the main lift, we got four assist, exercises because there's less there's more major muscles in the leg and then in the back there's like a ton of small muscles so it's a lot easier to hit you know what i mean all right i'm not sure what's going on here but i think i need to change some of my camera settings so we're gonna instantly transmission to the gym so what we got is going to be back squat gonna be warming up with the bar a set of 185 and i think i'm going to do my second warm-up set for 225 and then we'll go from there gradually add weight and see where it takes me and I'm hoping I don't fail because I am technically free squatting. I'm not using the fancy rest bars here. So let's see how it goes. Gotta get that full range of motion today. So we're going ass literally to grass. Don't forget knees over toes. Got the 185 on here. We'll see how it goes for sets of five. I'm hoping I can get over 225, but my knee is kind of agitated right now. I put my sleeve on. All right, so now I get the 225 on. I'm hoping my knee can handle it, but sometimes it's just not gonna happen. And I'm trying to actually re-strengthen everything, so 
it's probably a good idea that I do go a little bit lighter on some of these exercises. So without further ado, this I can warm up with 225. That's kind of heavy, so I think if anything, we're just gonna go up 10 pounds. So I'm gonna stay here for a couple sets. It is what it is. to a great exercise for my knee and knee strengthening because my knee was a little bit agitated during my back squat. Ideally, I would have liked to continue doing 245. No, yeah, 245. But my knee right here, it's almost like it's pinching a nerve of some sort, or I don't know, it's like, if I feel here, it's like soft. If I feel here, it's kind of tender. So um, some of the things I've been looking up was like runner's knee. I don't know, it could be, it could be anything. So I need to continue doing my recovery, doing, my lactic acid run with my legs up and icing it because 
That used to help when I iced it. I would do a lot more stretching than I did today, and that typically helped it a lot more. So, and going forward, I'm probably gonna add reverse sled pull and forward sled pull as well, since that's another great exercise for your knee and knee strengthening. So, it's gonna be a very light Bulgarian split squat.
is supposed to help with my knee pain because I think it's linked to this major tendon. Whenever I stretch it, my knee gets better. So I think we're gonna be incorporating some abductors today. Even though that exercise looks really funky, it could really help my knee strengthening and overall just regular knee strength that I am lacking. Hack squat, well, V squat, hack squat. And we got good old fancy new hack squat machine. I'm actually used to this kind than the other one. Let's see how my knee stacks up today with this. Not that great, to be honest. I may have to do my knee recovery day. Yeah, this is not gonna work out. We're gonna have to switch to the knee recovery day. We're doing the goofy machine because it's supposed to help with knee pain.
All right, time to move on to some more knee recovery exercises. So this is another good one for quad and potentially knee uh, strengthening. It works your butt, the section right here. I don't really don't know what that's called. Your um, hip flexor and some of your outer quad. I'm doing this one because it's a lot less stress on my knee and it'll still allow me to st help strengthen my knee as well. I know there's not much quote unquote knee involved in the diagram here, but from what I can feel and tell, it has helped my knee in the past. So this is what I'm going to do today. And then we'll see next week how many feels. I do feel a bit of pressure on my knee, so it's definitely helping. I like to call the reverse sled pull. It's supposed to be really good for your knees. It's kind of like when you see people walking backwards on a treadmill, it is supposed to be for knee strength. Uh, similar to, exquisitely weird, similar to a Stairmaster, going up the stairs backwards is really helpful for knee strength. And that is why people do it. Don't be weirded out by it. Everything in reverse is for knee strength. Everything forward, I don't know. Uh, I, I'm not a kinesiologist, so I don't know. But this is what I am going for. Hopefully it'll be helping my knee again. I'm gonna be doing this on a regular basis as well, so. Go a little 
cramps. That's never fun. It's that time of day. Let's go do some abs. Good old leg lifts on the bench. Kind of a favorite of mine right now.
So today was definitely a bit of a different kind of workout. I actually haven't had any knee pain in quite a long time. Um, it could honestly be due to the way I was sitting today. Um, I, I have weird sitting positions sometimes, so I'll sit crisscross in my like um, office chair. I'll put my knees up kind of like this. So that probably could have something to do with why my knee was rather agitated today and kind of sore. It's not like it's like painful, you know, like um, I had a pinched nerve once when I was rowing in, I think it was this arm. This arm right, right here, there was a section of my arm that just hurt exquisitely. It was a weird pain and my whole arm just went numb. And it triggered, actually triggered my asthma too uh, in the middle of the race. Luckily, I still finished the race, but I could not, I basically couldn't feel from my shoulder down to my fingers. And it was just the weirdest feeling ever. Now in my knee, it, I can't, it's kind of hard to describe it, but I'll show you on this knee. So in here, right down here, when I'm squatting sometimes, when I'm hand cleaning, um, kind of any quad tight, tight movement where my knee goes over my toes, right here and down in this tendon, it kind of hurts. Um, when I was looking it up, uh, there were some things about like arthritis, um, maybe a pinched nerve, something called runner's knee or something. And basically it said there are some exercises and stretches that you could be doing. Obviously rest it, um, rest, rice. Rest, ice, there's something else, I forget. It's like rest, rest, elevate, ice, and something else, I forget. Um, but it's like what the doctor would typically tell you to do when you have some kind of injury. Now, all of a sudden, for a couple of months here, I'd stopped doing the reverse sled pull and forward sled push. That could also have something to do with it, as well as the change in my workout tempo. Um, so my workout tempo has changed from kind of a one-to-one -one ratio to up and down ratio to a one to two to three ratio. That could have something to do with putting some more stress on my knee and causing it to just trigger at some, at some point. But today was my knee recovery day. It's something I looked up a very long time ago when my knee was actually quite agitated. And doing that a couple of times, I think I did it for about a month and my knee felt a lot better. So I may start incorporating some of these exercises into my quad day so that I can help prevent this agitation in the future. Um, I am happy I did get through back squat. It technically was part of the knee recovery. It would have been a box squat, but I did a lighter kind of squat today so not too shabby kind of sad i wasn't able to do the v squat half squat on the new hack squat machine but it is what it is i still was able to get some type of leg workout in with low pressure on my knees hi buddy and i think max here knows that i'm a little bit injured because he's coming over to say hi and i think he also wants to go you want to go outside is that why you're coming over here you won't go outside. All right. So I'm going to end it here, guys. Appreciate you guys watching the videos. If you're liking them, please like and subscribe as it does really help the channel out as I am trying to hit that wonderful thing called the YouTube algorithm. And I will see you guys on Sunday. Aw. Hi, buddy. I will see everyone on Sunday for back day. And I'm hoping by then that my knee will be in less pain. So... Catch you guys then. Deuces.